I don't know. We just kind of kept on our, our uh, uh, we didn't panic. You know, they made they made a nice run at the end of the second quarter and, and got back in the game. But uh, I think it's like what we talked about, you know, before the game about the confidence of, you know, it's a close game. It's on a road, but we can, you know, continue and, and, and uh, uh, kind of close it out. And that's what our guys did. How has your team developed in terms of playing with consistency, knowing what to expect from your guys night in and night out? Yeah, much better and, and much more consistent. And we're getting contributions from guys. You know, with, with a couple guys out, you know, Damari's really coming back to life and, and had a huge game tonight. Uh, Shabazz, excellent. So we're getting contributions from everybody. I think that's important. And, and uh, listen, those are two guys that have done, you know, they've done a lot in this league, you know. So uh, glad we have them on our roster. Anything tactical that you did at halftime? I mean, you came out, I think, 24 to 12. I think Levine, I think, I think we needed to lock into him better. So I think uh, <laughs> that was a big priority. Uh, you know, Joe started out on him, and then we put Spencer on him. Just throw different bodies at him because he, he was, he was uh, uh, really getting downhill on us. And Jared looked Jared. as lively as... Brian, you're on it. He was at, he, you know, he had that took away a corner three-pointer, and ran back in the paint and blocked blocked somebody's shot. And and then his his offensive rim running, and the pressure he's putting on the rim. I thought he was he was outstanding tonight. It, it both the the end of the first quarter to the second quarter, and then again in the third quarter, uh, when you use the three guards, you expanded the lead uh, every time. You're really pushing for that three-guard lineup, aren't <laughs> you, Greg? <laughs> I'm glad you reminded me because we have so much speed. And what I'm, I'm surprised about is how seamless it is. They're going, you know, no one's, you know, you would think you'd have three guards running back to, the, to try to get the ball. <laughs> Listen, I'm the point guard, but, you know, that's that's kind of our, our ideal uh, kind of scenario where we have multiple ball handlers and they can play different positions. And they, they've they kind of embraced that and, and uh, seem like they're enjoying it. It's been good for us. I'm not sure if he even scored, but what is Travion Graham's strength and overall hustle? do for you uh, he got us a couple extra possessions I, I I don't think he's in great rhythm right now I think he's his rhythm's a little off but the grit and toughness and he gives us a strong body too uh, uh, you know that's important his defense obviously you know we put him on market in there I thought he did a good job and and uh, uh, I can't wait till he gets to peak form he can he can really help us did, did the start of the fourth quarter kind of show how this team has has grown the, the way they start out right away by taking control of the game right there? Yeah, I I think we we've kind of reached uh, it's not the apex, but we're getting you know close to reaching the principles and the <laughs> ideal uh, type of basketball we want to play. And uh, uh, you know that takes time. This is you know uh, we've been at it a long time, and, and myself almost three you know three seasons, and it's really they were, you know, I kind of had to I sat back in my seat today because it was just it was running by itself and they they knew what they do and they were talking and that's that's the ideal scenario for a coach